So exactly. what, what you what what you gotta say about this James being awfully quiet? To trust him. He did it before. He 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 plays disposal ho. You know, he, he got tired of Marietta and then that was just it. He was just done with her and he just mm-hmm. moved on. So I mean, come on. When somebody shows you who they are. So do you think that you know her making this decision? Do you think that it's one hundred percent her? She's stupid. <laughs> Alright. So so um flat out. Flat out. Now you know that I can't do the trending topics without talking about um reality television, right? Where's Christian? <laughs> <laughs> that look. That look on your face says it all now. I'm, a, wait. I'm not going to talk about love and hip hop because I want to save that for when I do my training topics on Sunday because I still need to talk about Mariah Lynn versus my boo thing. I still need to talk about that. But we're not going to talk about that. But we're going to talk about what? 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 I figure your headache with what, Monique? Oh, that nerve! I can deal with Monique better than that Mariah. I let that Mariah. You know, I'm hoping that um, Monique makes a surprise appearance on this season of Love and Hip Hop. I want her to just pop up. Can you Look, that's gonna make for some great television. It is not. I hope you just pop up at your place and then we don't have to see it and you satisfied and get all you know and then we ain't got to go to well, I mean, I, I'm I not, just can't. I'm not that hard to find. Once a year. What I'm saying is, because you know they're beating, right? Yeah. I just, I just want to see them go at it. I just want to see them fight. Because you already know who I got my money on. So... <laughs> Well, I mean, this is crazy, but yes, of course, of course, always, always. The other little so, child ain't not that old street ass well, machine, not but old hoe. Who? Mariah Lynn. Well, like she ain't not but old hoe. I might have to bury her ass on Sunday, but we'll save that for Sunday. So let's okay. talk about the real households of Atlanta. I got two, actually three things I want to talk about. So the first is uh, Chateau She Can't Pay. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, it's been a running gag joke, the whole Chateau She Can't Pay. And so pretty sure y'all know it's come out in the blogs that she owes her contractors $15,000 in addition to wow. 23000 in late fees and other charges. Child... I hope she's saving up her real housewives money and giving it to them or something. I hope. She was trying to get that it together. right there is crazy. She mm-hmm. was trying to get it together and y'all wouldn't let her do it. She was trying to get it together with Tammy's old nephew last Sunday. And Kenya had him thrown out of the house, but Sheree was on it. That's the part y'all didn't clock. Everybody talking <laughs> about what was well, going on, didn't nobody clock to Sheree and the the ding dong on lockdown, baby. She had him in the corner, giving. Let me holler at you, player. <laughs> but oh, James, came, look at the type yeah. of dead that she in. The when they came, dead she in. He was selling up yay on Christmas. Every little bit selling up yay on. You know is not gonna work. what she needs to do is she need to go ahead, holler at Todd and Candy, and get her a fitness DVD out. And I and I mean that with zero shade. I really because if y'all I, I don't follow her on Instagram she real. or not, she real. exactly. And she actually for what is where I think she like has clients and whatnot. If she takes that and actually does like some real good quality, you know, DVDs and whatnot, she can make some money that will in turn help her pay off some of this debt. And I like I said when I say I mean that with absolute no shade, I really do mean that. She need to link up with somebody, and I say Todd and Candy because I mean, hey, they only show a good connect and drop a good, you know, fitness DVD or series. 
You don't agree? She could do it. You don't agree, James? Yeah, it could work. No, it could work. But she don't do shit else. I mean, hey, I mean, her hair, her hair and makeup might not always be good, but she, that body be banging. I'm just saying. Yeah, she's. I mean, that's what she. That's all we really. Do. She does that little kiss thing. Now that does. Well, she keep herself up, so I mean, she better figure out stuff. <laughs> Other people do. want their money. They okay. Do. All right, so. Let's go ahead and talk about down there down the street with Kenny on an umbrella up the house and it ain't rain outside. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was in her house with an umbrella. Andy had an umbrella. I said, baby, now that's the salad read, honey. I said a silent one. <laughs> she had an umbrella up in the house. Uh, it's not raining okay. outside. I said, good, 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 good. Uh, so let's go ahead. Oh, and oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Down in the gully where the goddamn ogre stays. So what Tiff I thought she was going to know. I, I, I don't, don't think, know what I don't think she, she's been trying several times. I don't think she can get in. But um I think I think oh, I need wow. to channel my inner mama Joyce for this. So we finna talk about oh. Andy and Todd. Candy and Todd. Okay. And Todd. And I don't want you to admit to having that inner Mama Joyce. We also, we all, and, and then talking about this, we also got to talk about Fake Tra and a Paulina. We got to talk about all they asses together in this. Not Apple. Oh. Yeah, a Paulina. Yeah, a Paulina. And now I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to mm-hmm. talk about her and Patricia's, you know, issue on Twitter and Instagram. We ain't going to talk about that unless y'all want to. But, Apparently, Who the hell is Patricia? Patricia Thomas. You know Patricia Thomas. Yeah, Peter. Patricia. Who Peter would be we'll, that with? We'll talk about that in a minute. But okay. okay. But uh, Todd and Candy got raided. So the fans finally came in and seized all of a Paulina's assets. Wow. Now the thing is, a lot of people say it's Candy's fault because. She mentioned it on that uh, platform, and she did. But mm-hmm. at the same exact time, Fakeer also mentioned it on that same platform too. So mm-hmm. they got raided. I don't think they took anything that uh, belonged to Candy and Todd, but they took all of Apollo's shit, and it's about to be auctioned off. So, so they gonna be just like the Judy Chains, honey. Somebody gonna be in jail. Jail. Okay. <laughs> you know, they just let Teresa's ass out. That's what I say. They're going to be they, in they, jail. They just let Teresa's ass out. And they said, girl, <laughs> go on and get your cranberry social and change your mind, bitch. <laughs> well, since, we're, well, since we're talking about jail, prison, all that stuff, and since you want to know what's going on, so Patricia and a Paulina. First, well, like I said, Paulina had some um, IG shit, like some posts and whatnot. Now, people like, how is he posted from jail and everything? So we're assuming that somebody is uh, responsible for his account. And he pretty much posted a picture of him and Patricia saying how being away, you know who your real friends are, saying that uh, Patricia has not come to see him, call, none of that shit. And people are trying to figure out, like, why is he so invested? And or uh, I'm going to just let y'all talk because I already called them Patricia and a, a Paulina, so. He made because his love ain't came to see him. There see, we go. He's crying. Oh. What do you expect? You were in jail for a long time. Phaedra coming to see you. Yeah. You ain't coming to see you. Phaedra going to get her a man. Peter going to go find um, Lisa. One big half ass family. <gasps> he got too much time, baby. <laughs> if he was worried about it, you know what? And it's not that you forget about them when they go down. It's the fact that, damn, motherfucker, you gone for a hot minute. And I don't have no investment with you like that. You know what I'm saying? I care, but I'm not, I'm not over gonna... here just, you know, uh-uh. <clears throat> that man got a life. He got businesses still going on. 
Apollo act like he going to jail behind some shit that he didn't do. Like he was falsely <clears throat> accused. Bitch, you stole on people fucking money. They wanted their money just like you want some time. <laughs> somebody to answer your call. Somebody to put something down on them books for you. If you would have done right, you wouldn't be sitting there. You'd mm. still be over there sucking pickles with uh Phaedra. And fucking up, uh, you know, blow up mattresses. Uh-huh. <laughs> to who he was and he over there and that's what makes me most mad about him he act like he in jail and he and he he wanted to falsely accuse people that go to jail no boo you stole them people damn money that he did that he did so how you expect people to have some sympathy for you you know you just gotta you gotta live you baby you live by the sword you die by that motherfucker. All I can say is, motherfucker, good look and try not to drop the <laughs> damn sofa a couple more years. But see, <clears throat> or if you will gonna drop it, drop it in front of somebody you ready to take on. But what I'm trying to figure out is why whoever's handling his Instagram account, so you care more about Patricia coming to see you than fake Trey and your two motherfucking kids. Try, speak like, on it. That vexes the fuck out of me. Just like your priorities are fucked up. Okay. Like truly mm-hmm. fucked up, but hey, that's his life to live. And I'm even looking at the damn Instagram post. It's like, are y'all really doing this right now? Are y'all he really acts so this? petty. He acts so damn petty. He get on my nerve. He always bitching and complaining about some shit. Bitch, you stole them people fucking money. Don't nobody give a damn if you sit in that jail and rot the deal. <laughs> Don't folks feel like they rotting the deal without their money. In that jail, sat in that jail, that ain't their fucking They're about rotting. <laughs> so, <clears throat> since we're talking about uh, Paulina, let's go ahead and usher in Phaedra and Miss Kenya. So we all know mm-hmm. what happened mm-hmm. on Sunday. We've and pretty much mm-hmm. everybody has been candid on how they feel about it. Well, two things. Candy went to Twitter, and I think she even did a um and IG Instagram to give her side of the story. And not only did she defend Kenya on uh camera, she defended her there saying that Kenya did nothing wrong. Also bringing up the fact that, you know, like I said, the whole situation was crazy. Went into explicit detail about why she recorded the uh, incidents and whatnot, but mostly defending Kenya. Mm -hmm. Well, Kenya herself went on her uh, Bravo blog and had some uh, choice things to say to, uh, you know, um, Miss Fraudulent Parks. So I'm going to just go ahead and read what she said. I'm going to give y'all story time right now. Hopefully, hopefully everybody okay. turned in and got them some warm milk. Hopefully y'all didn't take Santa Claus's milk, but hopefully y'all got some warm milk from Reed to y'all right quick. So Kenya says, okay. I'm astounded by Phaedra's blatant attempt manipulate the fans and incite anger against me. She stated my reaction to Glenn was the same as a quote unquote white woman in suburbia to an innocent black boy walking down the street. This had nothing to do with a quote-unquote white woman in suburbia, as Phaedra stated. Some men, like Glenn, behave in a way that is unacceptable in society. We can feel a need to protect our men from unwarranted police brutality, as in the Black Lives Matter campaign, but this is clearly not the same. Further, if a man is acting in a threatening and aggressive manner, thereby making women feel uncomfortable, we cannot ask them to leave. According to Kim Chambers, if we do, we are quote unquote hitting a hornet's nest and provoking a man. Shame on them. I do not have to accept a man's abuse, verbal or physical, black or white. Glenn was abusive, period. I deserve to feel safe in my environment. I deserve protection. I deserve respect. This incident is not about a racial divide. I'm a woman first. These women are so resentful of my presence that they will always choose the side that is against me. Would any of these hypocritical mothers allow their sons to talk to women that way? Would they be ex- would that be acceptable to them for their sons to act the way Glenn did? When Phaedra threatened to call the police on Apollo, 
But according to them, I was wrong to ask Glenn to leave. According to Phaedra, she has made it her mission on every episode thus far to call me a villain, making fun of my former skin condition, my dark brown skin tone, and now my preemptive actions to make to protect not only her, but all the women present. It's evident that Kim Fields, Phaedra, Sheree, and Portia were all wrong about Glenn, yet they were all ready to nail me to the stake until Candy stated she agreed with me. Funny how that worked, isn't it? Well, that's true. But that's true. I... she, but here's the thing: she clocked Phaedra when she was like, "So I'm wrong for this," but she was the same one yelling to Apollo, "Get away from me! Get away from me! Go away from me with that!" With this. I'm sorry with this. this. I'm sorry with this. Don't forget. (laughs) Go away from me with this. That's what you (laughs) think. But, I mean, I will say. I mean, Kenya eloquently, you know, stated her opinion. Now, what I will say is everything that, you know, Phaedra said, the just everything in to the Black, Black Lives Matter, I wasn't against. It's just the context of when she said it. It was it was not placed in the right. I, I didn't fucking get it. I really didn't. And I mean, like I said, she couldn't win me over with that, but at the same exact time, I mean, she really came with a fucking case. And when uh, Erica and Nate did their uh, live broadcasting, I did say this. <clears throat> Kenya, and I want y'all to follow me. Kenya has promoted her brand, right? Kim has promoted hers. Right. Cynthia promoted hers. Candy promoted hers. Dare I say it, Portia has promoted hers. What the fuck has uh, Phaedra promoted since she's been on her and with all these damn jobs? Don't worry, I'll wait. None, because the FBI watching her. You almost have to spend You not come up with no new money. <laughs> Them FBI's is watching her, baby. <laughs> Hey, she be fresh as hell with a fast watch. Show them all. Yes, hey, so. <laughs> Ain't safe for reality. So they throwing hoes in jail. For real. Well, baby, if, they, if she would have let Kenya handle that, I mean, um, I, I'm reading the comments. Uh, Kenya was still in Trey's face at the end of the day. Let Tammy handle her nephew. She tried to. He knocked her ass out. <laughs> Somebody had to do something, baby. He got violent. I mean, his thing. Like, I even. You said, know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Go, go got for a it. Problem. At the end of the day, that woman is going to try and 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 you know, especially Phaedra. Phaedra is going to have a problem with Kenya if no matter what Kenya does, because she still has a vendetta against the woman because she knew her husband wanted to fuck her. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. anybody with common sense would know that that boy was unstable. Somebody catch that phone for me. Um, <laughs> anybody with common sense think that that boy was unstable, okay? He was unstable. <clears throat> For those of us who done lived a little street life, we know his ass was what we call high off his supply, okay? okay? So when he was high off his damn supply, and, and <laughs> damn it, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> you don't come up here and tell me don't answer my goddamn phone. What the fuck's wrong with you? You better hide somewhere. Go home and hide. Over here, hide. Girl, get some damn well. But what I said, what I was, oh, yeah. That boy was hot, okay? She told Tammy about it. Tammy, but, okay, y'all and like Tammy, the ones phone. who got a problem with it. Tammy was fucked up her damn self. <laughs> was he wasn't that she That's why it was so easy for him to knock her ass out. <clears throat> Somebody had to say something. People say, well, he was walking out, but he was going to ask some questions. And it was at that moment that Kenya said to him, look, I've tried to talk to you all day. You've just been weirding people out. You even, you know, said something yeah. other than candy, which that was a risk for him to be there because, I mean, we don't want none of them to get their ass whooped. <laughs> but we really don't want candy to get her goddamn <laughs> ass whooped. Because she was a child. We want to get that child a chance. She worked hard for that child. Pay a lot of money for her. But I just don't understand Hell yeah, paid a lot of damn money. She want her egg to come to fruition. And I want that for her, because she need it. 
but I, I don't understand that you know i didn't get that coming and i'm not starting an argument with you uh mr seldom saying i'm just trying to understand uh the i'm trying to understand where you're going with it because I don't get it. I mean, what? What? Do, I mean, don't you feel that 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 was an unsafe got, environment me, for all of the ladies? You got me feeling subconscious. You got me feeling subconscious. Won't let you know. Okay, go on. Yeah. Well, tap, li- tap, tap lips. Tap lips ain't sexy. Tap lips ain't sexy. Y'all, y'all got mm-hmm. tongue action going mm-hmm. on on YouTube. Uh uh-uh. uh. All right. Well, hey. put them up, baby. Put hey. the butt on them. Put the butt on them. <laughs> And you're right, Kenya was too busy. I mean, Portia was too busy trying to get laid. That's why she ain't know mm. that. But I'm just saying, why was she in his face, though? She, she wasn't, wasn't in his face. She just told him nope. why he had to go. He was now, walking up on her, talking, calling her. Now, what I did, now here's thing, I did say, in general, she wasn't wrong. Now, I did say in my video that I felt that as they were walking out, she shouldn't have followed them. And, his, and he did address her. And she had every right to respond. <laughs> All I was saying is that as they was walking out, I felt she should have just laid back in the cut. But at the same exact time, she wasn't wrong for anything that she did. You know what I'm saying? And what, and that what everybody needs to understand is regardless of how they feel, she saved all their asses a major fucking ass whooping. Regardless of what anybody fucking... Because he could have hauled up on any one of them. And the, yeah. yeah. And the last thing that we need is for him to have put his hands on Candy. Because I think Candy would have went into a full-on rage, and we don't need other men getting involved in this shit. Because I think she's the only. And you know what? I'm gonna just say this: He should, if he was gonna put his hands on anybody, he should have just snatched that motherfucking bag of cotton balls off Kim fucking head, since she want to talk all this shit about shaking hornets nests and shit. But I digress. But I'm retarded. Man. But I digress. It don't make no sense. And and, and and it wasn't no time to, when she called security was when it was necessary. Yeah. When she when he asked her what was going on, it wasn't no time for her to call security because at that point, although he had been erratic all that day, yes. he was not actually he was just using mouth action. She called security when he actually made an advancement on her like he was gonna whoop her ass. Yep. And to <clears throat> me, that was warranted. If you act if my friends, we all at a place and we done rented a place and, and somebody come in they outline and say James say you got to go and he walking you to the door, and you started asking him questions, and I done put my money in on this damn house. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna answer. <laughs> I'm gonna answer because I got a right there because <clears throat> my money kind right. of here. Okay. So when she said what she said, she wasn't trying to be mean to him, she was trying to help him understand, look, dude, you done did your behavior is why you got to go. <laughs> Proving her point, he went head on and, and showed really why she put his at why she was asking him to go. He started acting erratic. If you wasn't wrong, then why you made? Right. Look, the man, he needs to go anyway. He had been calling them bitches all day and tell them that they can get it. Hey, what's this called? Blab or blub? Blab. Told you. Blab. Okay, blab. Then they talking about some damn blub. Well, you see it. You- and then rub none, dude. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now, nah, come on through, baby. Come on through. So, let's go ahead and go from talking about one woman beater to the next. So, actually, James, I'm going to let you take this one. Wait, do you what? watch Black Ink Crew Chicago? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't watch it. I mean, you know I watch it. But I got to, I, I got to rep Chicago, so I got to watch it. All right, so well, go ahead. All right, well, then I, I guess I'll it's gonna be me. Go, you open it up. I'll talk about that motherfucking ass. <laughs> so okay, so you didn't see this past episode when Don almost uh hauled off and uh, put his hands on Charmaine, had an Ike Turner moment. No. Sure. See, and that's the problem I have with this show. Now, I'm here for Black and Crew. Y'all know I got this thing you call passion for uh, Tell the 70... What? And pity me a lady, tell that dude that the 70s are gone. Talk about me. Give him a haircut. <laughs> what? Well. Somebody just sent me that message. Said some, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. 1971 
Cause we ain't gonna be no punk bitches on this flag, <laughs> baby. You said if, if he the middle lady tell that dude that he needs the seventies are gone and give him a haircut. What dude with that be boo? Uh, uh, he said a little too close. Yeah, goddamn, we in a fucking Malibu. Bro, these Chevy, cats seriously blazed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We- I'm trying to now he ain't gonna come over here and do no roasting to y'all because y'all ain't bothering oh, nobody. I'm trying to find out what he's talking, talking about. What you say? Oh, ransom. Okay, ransom. Whichever one of y'all ransom sugar, he talking to y'all. But I would just yeah, like, he, okay. Dude, look, what do you want? He wants he say, uh tell that dude that oh, the seven is are gone. Man. Give him a haircut. Oh, he hating on your hair, boo. He hating on your hair. <laughs> he hates you because he hates you. Don't worry about it. But well, back to them bitches from over there at the uh Black Ink. My problem with that show is everybody, oh, I mean, okay, they do good designs, okay? They do good tests. It's way better than Black Ink New York. I like that about them. But what I don't like is that you got a brother sitting on this show, supposedly, and his wa- his woman slash baby mama, and they see that this boy has a problem, a problem that could not only endanger his life at some point but the lives of other people and we are ignoring this giving him a pass this boy unstable it's been three weeks that i've seen this boy try to whoop that girl ass when he gets mad he don't mm-hmm. like to be called on this shit, and he knocked the fuck up, and most of the time he beating on walls and shit, but this time he actually advanced on that girl like he was going to whoop her ass. That's why I called him 1-800-CHOKE-THAT-HOE, because that's what the fuck he was going to do. He was going to choke that hoe, slap out. What'd it do? Oh. I don't get that. I don't know, baby. They think, baby, I, ooh, I wish I was sitting in that pile of boom. I wish I was sitting in that Malibu right now. But I right, though. But anyway, that, that's my problem with this show. Nobody's addressing the big issue, and that is this boy is so unstable. Unless he acting real good, and then y'all, you know t nah. that don't look like no acting. It look like he really got a problem. That dude be snapping, man. And what about that child in the home with him? You know what I'm saying? A person that's unstable like that, it could actually go to that level. What if that child, he gets to want to walk? Please let me in the damn room. There's chicken bones everywhere. Yeah, you the truth. Okay, what he said? Wait a minute, baby. Hold up. I'm gonna have to read the bitch down right quick. Hold on. What's wrong now? Oh. I don't okay. know. Uh, baby, he done sent me. I don't know. He's sending me messages. Mr. 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 1971. Please let me in the damn room, my dear. Your mama not on this camera, so why the hell is you calling for my dear? Okay. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I know. Huh? But it's because of him. But ain't never looked this goddamn good sitting over here with all this sex going on on this screen. Is you a damn fool? Uh, or is something wrong with you? <laughs> You're not in the room because nobody wants to hear what the fuck is coming out of your mouth. You better, you picked the wrong day, but the right day. Come on with you, boo. Keep sending me messages. Right. I ain't going to block you. I'm going to get you together. I ain't talking to you, Ransom. You stay looking good and smoking. I'm talking to this bitch right now. <laughs> Yeah, Ransom ain't bothering nobody. They okay, you know. Chilling. No, Ransom chilling. He'll be bothering oh, where y'all from? But this old Mr. Mr. Child, I'm from Louisiana. I'm from okay. Chicago. The N-O to be exact. Chicago. What's up? <laughs> you see, she's going to let her run up. Get your ass off. Get your ass off. I'm trying to run. I'm trying to shoot at her, but she's going. She was on something. Uh-oh. Well, back to what I was saying, though. Uh, uh, y'all ready? Get rid of Mr. Mr. 1971. I thought he was going on. Because he's getting on the nerve. But, um, I, I, that bitch ain't going nowhere. Don't nobody know him. And you believe it. It's always them lonely bitches be at home talking shit. Sitting at home, crying in his egg, and just wishing on a miracle that somebody would just entertain him mm-hmm. and I just did it for you so goodbye Okay. nobody got time for that but back to what we was talking about which was Black Ink Crew Chicago cause fuck that hoe okay fuck him I done gave you some attention go on about your business boo come see me on Lady Nikki channel do I need to put the link down there come see me I got some fun <laughs> but um Back to what I was saying, you know, he be. I really think that that's unsafe for Ashley. <clears throat> she don't think about that. You know, he ain't never he ain't got up on her like but, that. But who's but the he, no, he, he, wait, he did nothing girl. on her when she was packing up his clothes. Like he did get all like swollen in the chest and shit. 
And then she threatened to call the police. And then he's. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. He he unstable. I don't know what to say about him. I, I just don't understand how we ignoring all of this here. That's the main mm-hmm. thing that I feel that should be addressed. Is this boy unstable? You know, I, I don't mm, child could be me. I wouldn't be scared because I stay packing, but they don't be packing. Well, maybe you should help your sister from uh New Orleans out, from, you know, from Louisiana out. Help out. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. She embarrasses me because we don't roll like that. Yeah. That ain't how we roll. We do not roll like that because we would not be dealing with that. I don't know why she's still stuck on there, honey. You realize now that you was just a jump off for him. Go on on and sit your ass down and enjoy your life. What's the problem? Mm-hmm. You keep trying, you keep pining in every conversation that you can't even talk to your fucking mama unless you bringing up this dude. Mm-hmm. What did he do to her? But you know, that's, they say them crazy men got their good pins. The one eight hundred choke them on. <laughs> them the ones that had you hooked on. Them. Well, see, I don't know. I ain't never, I ain't never seen. Them. Well, I mean, her, uh, her cousin starting to, you know, I guess fall to that same trap. Her and Ryan, that whole fucking storyline and shit. It's too much. I'm just trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah. It it makes for good TV. The whole Don, you know, being unstable. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's up with all these dudes in these Tennessee that want to sit here and get up in women's faces and put their hands on females? Like, is that is that the new thing for reality television right now? I mean, we got Glenn doing it. Now we got Don doing it. I'm just saying. because that's a- Make me audition for some. I audition for one of them shows just to get one of them older. <laughs> I mean, because put in I, the- I don't know and the thing is i like with don i don't think that was acting and that's only because because mm-hmm. uh ryan them jumped in and apprehended his ass with security so yep. that's why i say it's an, it's an issue that needs to be addressed some ain't right about him it's like they giving him a slap on the hand and saying don't do it no more and that's that he does it again week after week and it's still being overlooked. I don't understand that. Why they taking uh band six old motherfucking ass to jail? They need to be taking that bitch to jail. They're taking the wrong motherfucker to jail. Did, did you put money on his books yet? Thank you, Mark. <laughs> I don't got that PO no. Don't nobody want to act right and get a bit. I mean, if they just tell me where he at, I'll get the information. Do what I need to look at. You from Chicago. I need to call Cook County. What I need hey, to do. Fuck, fuck I know Cook County. Name. Fuck. Cook County. Well, where I, don't he is, I don't know where they said. I honestly don't know. Because, like I said, Cook County, for what it's worth. I don't know where they send him. I've been trying know. to find that on the IG. Everybody like they scared to tell a bitch. I'm trying to enhance his life. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. trying to get bring him to the light. He won't never go to jail again fuck with a bitch like me. Now, oh, um, you know, s- thank you, Mark. Since we own him, uh, I guess maybe we should talk about the lab etiquette because I, I mean that's all I have for the trending topics and I mean since we own here maybe we should talk about lab etiquette in the event we come back and do this shit again because okay go ahead and lay the rule down say what lay the rule. go ahead and lay the rule down because you know I ain't no rule with me I don't mind try- I mean my, I mean, my thing my is, like I said we all family and we all can come over here and talk and the whole purpose was us to come over here and just have a good kiki but on some real shit, right. what the fuck you not gonna do is first and foremost, if you don't like what the fuck we saying, you can leave one. Two, if we are so kind to let you into the motherfucking blab, don't come over here and disrespect it, especially with the whole lady, lady, that type shit. I'm not here for it. And like I said, I mean, James, just as you know that, you know, my sister will defend me, I will defend her. She'll tell you. I done came on her channel and yep. got some motherfuckers together, like. I, I don't like no, we, we not finna do that. <laughs> I know. Like, but she, like I said, she a grown ass woman, so she can defend herself. The only thing is, once she would have got done, I would have been the next one to jump in. And, it's, and vice versa. That's how we roll. And, and also, you know, with the gentleman, uh, Random, and uh, his uh, friend who were on here, you know, mother talk about some, you know, the whole 70s. Hey, I thought they was coming for me, even though I didn't chop most of my shit off. I thought they was coming for me. They my weren't saying anything. Too. That was the guy saying stuff to them. 
They weren't bothering no, about ex- exactly. And my thing is this, you know, trying to throw shade, talking about some are they on their honeymoon, whatever. Like, are, are, are you mad because uh, you're not in the motherfucking Malibu? You, you mad? Are, are, are you mad? Like, I'm trying to well, figure out. I wasn't out. in the Malibu. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just saying, like, are, to I mean, are you mad if you? No, I'm saying, like, are you mad you don't have the funds to pay for a motherfucking Malibu? Are you mad that you that you just can't you know ride out and just do what the fuck you want to do? Come there, read. You come there, read. You know, I'm, 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 I'm okay. You that girl. Here you come. <laughs> so you know, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, boo. I, don't I, mess I, with I, me, I, and don't come over here wrong. In general, don't come the fuck over here wrong, but it's just like, you know, are you that miserable about your motherfucking life that you finna be the Grinch and you ain't got shit to fucking, you know, show for? Like, you know, let these two brothers live. Let them do what the fuck they do. <clears throat> but what the fuck you not finna do in general, any fucking body, anything that on my fucking platform, what the fuck you not finna do is come on here with the fuck shit. Because like I said, I'm very nice, but if I have to, I will sit here, bury your ass, treat your ass like Jesus, bring you back on the third motherfucking day and bury your ass the fuck again. But this what the fuck we not gonna do. So in the event that y'all don't fucking know, your ass is no now. Now you know. Mm. If you don't know, now you know. Yeah, I didn't think they were. That's how they go. Picking. He just was picking. God, I don't be afraid about people like that. Cause I'm too slick with my damn mouth for that. You can't hear it. But I mean, don't try. No, don't try. Because I don't mind. I don't mind. You don't fuck with me. You don't fuck with my fam. Because they go down right. just like this. Mm. I'm so glad I'm so You be nice. respectful over here because this is all fun. <laughs> Child, not James, I get some of this shit from you. Just go on and give it to him one time. That's what you said. Well, go on. Well, I didn't say that. I'm, a, I'm not taking it. I ain't saying that yet. No. <laughs> get on your soap. No, get, get on your soapbox. Come on, James. So, box, so box. Ooh, baby, I love when he get on that soapbox. I love it. I live when James get on that soapbox. I be here for it all. I might watch this shit three, four times. I've been really good. I haven't had to do it very much lately. Oh, you have been. You really have been good lately. That's nice. He just went all the way off on something. Yeah, we've been good lately. Okay, so well, I mean, what? What's? Yes. Oh, you finna bless us? Uh, no. Okay, go ahead. Well, and I'm happy. I, ain't got no, I ain't got nothing going on. I'm happy as a uh, sissy in Big Dick Boys Town. I ain't bothering nobody. I quit. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Mm. Okay, Christmas. well, well, what, what I what, <laughs> not me. <Mary Christmas. laughs> I can't even tell. Oh, y'all oh. yeah, see this shit be real. I told y'all this shit is real, baby. We <laughs> don't be scripted at all. I ain't got no complaints. I ain't uh, beefing with nobody. I ain't fighting with nobody. Fighting <laughs> with nobody. I'm just chilling. Mm-hmm. All right, so. What I'll do uh, is I will give you guys a little story time. And uh, I think y'all might laugh. No, because since I'm talking about etiquette, I think this falls right in. And I'm going to start this story okay. off, and I'm going to let y'all chime in. I want to call this um, holiday etiquette, where motherfuckers visit your place okay. etiquette. Oh, uh, So <laughs> you said stop. Stop why? So, you better say it right because I got some. I hope some of my people is in this room right now hearing this shit because this is what you don't so, do. Go ahead. Baby. So, here's mine. So, y'all know I'm Jewish and I celebrate Hanukkah. So, I didn't really do it up this year, but last year, um, there was some fuck shit that happened. But I'm in the kitchen, I am deep frying mustard batter chicken fingers. Like I said, y'all know I did a video about it, I had some in the freezer. But it was so many people there. Like, that was the one thing everybody wanted. So, like, I'm sitting here literally battering and frying it by hand. Every time I dropped the batch, by the time I would have dropped another one, they were gone. So, I'm sitting here frying it up, frying it up, frying it up. Two things happened this night that seriously pissed me off. One, I pre-make my Long Islands. Well, Mm -hmm. I noticed towards the end of the night, you know, my, my, um, Picture had deplenished in terms of uh, liquor. Now, my thing is this: I don't mind sharing, 
but if you don't bring shit to the party, especially something to drink on, how fucking dare you go into my refrigerator? Because one shit in the fridge for them, so you go in my refrigerator and you mix your own Long Islands. That one got me. But then here was a shit that really fucking got me. Now, I had a bag of fucking chicken tenders that I didn't made, I didn't prep, because, you know, I didn't master the art of making them and freezing them, right? Uh, Next morning, I'm like, you know what? I turned the deep fry on, about to go, I go in the fucking freezer. Three-fourths of the bag is empty. So somebody took their ass in the motherfucking freezer, they took my damn chicken tenders, I don't know if they fried them that night, I don't know if they took the motherfuckers home, they did, and I'm and here's the thing, it wasn't shit in the freezer. Refrigerator, okay, people putting their beverages in there. Ain't shit in the fucking freezer. So he, here's a little bit of holiday shit. etiquette for y'all asses. One, if you don't bring shit to the function, don't take shit in general. And yeah, really not in the bags of meat. What the, my thing is, what the fuck are you doing in my freezer? Ain't shit in the fucking freezer for your ass. Shopping. Absol- <laughs> like I was so fucking through. You know what I'm saying? Cause here's the thing. When I when I have functions, we got I have food. When you come over, your ass gonna eat. You ain't gotta worry about that. I'ma feed your ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I said, all that I ask is more or less, you just bring something to drink on. <laughs> more or less, depending on how big of a function I'm having. But the fact that somebody went in my damn freezer and took some homemade chicken tenders that I didn't I was too fucking through. So that so that one right there is for me. Stay your ass at the refrigerator and the fucking freezer. That 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 right there is mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass the buck to you, James. Go ahead and give us some holiday etiquette. Since Crimma is tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Mr. Seldom saying just that. I did a video on Thanksgiving time about taking food. All that fucking pe- that plate packing shit. <laughs> mm mm. You ain't like here for shit. it. You're not here for it. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like that. That that that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. When I come in, I'm leaving out with nothing but my hat, my coat, my ass. That's it. I'm not dragging the plate. Not people do talking? it. And I, I don't carry plates out. Me either. <clears throat> All right. So don't. don't okay. Who so don't carry plates out. Area code one. What's wrong? What's what's the matter? That's what I want to know, baby. What you want to say? You welcome to say anything. Oh, let them talk. Yeah, over the seat. It's, Pop in. It's probably because I locked. The, it's probably because I locked the seat. Okay, uh, we okay. ready. So, come on through. Go ahead. All right, y'all. Give me one second. I got. I gotta go uh, use the boys' room. I'll be right back. Y'all keep talking. Y'all keep talking. Go ahead. Yeah, but okay. No, okay. I don't like no no plate packing. That's that's a mess. Packing up all them damn plates. You know how to come to somebody's house. Now I don't mind people taking stuff home. I don't because I know I cook a I know I cook a lot of food. Yeah. And so I don't mind you picking taking you some. But when you get to making two and three plates, taking motherfuckers uh place that I don't even fucking know. I wasn't even invited. Problem now, honey. Was never invited. I don't even know who you talking about, but you talking about you taking cousin, sister, so and so a plate, and you taking a plate, child, whatever. Hell no, I don't want to talk to y'all. Country. To you, country, country. I'm not country. Ain't a goddamn thing. Country. I am, and it's cool. Oh. I'm country than a motherfucker. Proud as a motherfucker to be that saying way. That the I was being nice. I just got that saying I'm being nice. Now, people want me not to be nice. Because what is it about? I'll tell you. What is it about? Are you lonely, boo? You the seat has been open for you to come in. You calling us country and shit like that, child. Yeah. He said, "Your uh, tea spinning." He said, "Hell no, I don't want to talk to y'all." He don't want to I guess he's trying. I don't know country. Who. Oh, that's cool. So any fucking way, continue on, uh, Exactly. I mean, what is really going on? I don't understand. <laughs> now that part, I don't understand. That I like blab. I like Periscope. But what I don't like. I don't like this little this funny shit. So here we go. See, I don't. Y'all didn't ask for me. Here I go. <laughs> I don't like this little funny shit. Who you get on the side and you do all this motherfucking beefing by yourself? Cause ain't nobody in here bothering you. You done brought your punk ass in no. here talking smack. 
Don't even have a picture. Don't even have a picture. Got a little illustration. But we're country. Listen. <clears throat> and I think I speak for what you're what you saying. Come on. I'm real. I come from Yahoo chat back in the 90s, dude. Well, guess what? <laughs> then that means you've been around a while. So you'll understand when I tell you the three of us sitting here, you can start kissing our motherfucking ass on the pink part <laughs> yesterday. Boom. Yesterday. <laughs> Fuck him, clown. Collections, anybody? Anybody? <laughs> in the doors of the church are now open. Okay, those of the church are now. Child, I'm about to be faded by that because you don't want none. This is, th baby, this three deadly mouths sitting on this screen. Ain't nobody got time for that. That motherfucker got to Talking about some that. Yahoo check. You better carry your ass back in time. Uh, <laughs> child, please, what the fuck? He coming over here talking about Yahoo check. How many years ago? That's why I couldn't get in that seat because the motherfucker got DSL. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he is, a dollar for every bitch. I sit your ass down somewhere. Oh, what anybody goodness. got time for this shit? We're going to have a good time enjoying ourselves. Giving the people, some of us, the best way we know how. And you bitch want to come over here talking with your nameless, with your faceless ass. They kids with that internet typing and shit. And he probably, he broke that shit probably 10 minutes ago and just made it to the screen. Dollar up ass bitch. Sit down some damn well. Stupid motherfucker. Because what was it about me? Uh, you keep talking. You know he ain't had shit to say. He ain't have a motherfucking I mean, thing to say. All he wanted to do was come in. See, people can't stand when they see a good thing going on. It's always some asshole that wants to jump in, insert themselves, and they don't have shit to say. If you're going to come for me or anybody on this platform, bitch, have a fucking something to say. Have a conversation yeah. for my ass. Give me something other than just some hot air. Like I said, he broke that shit by 10, 15 minutes ago. Lights. come on Bitch, now. ain't nothing but a miserable life. That's what the fuck he is. And I'm about to read him from the book of Israelites. He better sit his ass down some damn well because you're on the wrong motherfucking platform. You better go to blab somebody else's I mean, blab. Thing. I do have a seat locked. And that's just because, I, like I said, I mean, I'm trying to keep a lot of I don't got no problem with you locking. You can unlock but, the seat. Everybody that's sitting it today, I'm mean, right. We're going to tip their chair. But here's the thing. Like, if you want to sit okay. in the seat, let me, let me know. I will open it up to you. The only thing is just don't come with the super shit. Don't come with the fuck shit. That's it. They can. They can anytime <laughs> I'm sitting on this motherfucker. I mean, I, mean, I invite you. To I mean, me. I'm ready, of course. Like, I mean, like Tammy Roman said, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. You know, That's God. but come on with it. But th like the whole reason we're doing is this is this is a Christmas edition because when it's done, this is going up to YouTube to get the people something to you know be blessed with on Christmas. I mean, I get Not I right. guess they can get blessed with some reads though. But hey, no, John, you better, you got to take that part out, honey. Take you what part out? Me, you can't have me cussing the folks for for Jesus' birthday, child. <laughs> you got to cut that out, honey. Lord have mercy. Jesus knew I was going to cut this man out before I sat out at this blab. You upload this, baby. Don't cut none of my parts out. You keep it all in. I wish a motherfucking sandwich eating bitch would. A <laughs> sandwich eating bitch. <laughs> but I can't get over to call us country. Like, country? What do we do to country? Shit. I mean, it I, mean, I don't know, thing. huh? I don't be country all day, but I'm eloquent as fuck, and when I need to, I but, they not, but we didn't do anything country. I don't, here's, hmm. You know what? I, like I said, and you know, Lady Mika said it best, you know, quoting the interview, they hate us because they ain't us. Because they ain't us. All right, and I mean, here's mm. you know, some real mm -hmm. shit. I mean, all three of us that came on here looking our absolute fucking best. I got the green screen lights on me, shit, looking very fucking succulent and delicious on this motherfucker. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody can do it. Come through, Slucky. I will. Come through. I will. <laughs> I will. Like this day looks succulent. And delicious. And delicious. And delicious. And delicious. Right. <laughs> and delicious. Okay. And guess what, Nika? No comment. <laughs> huh? All right. And then I'm right. saying, and, and, then, and then I'm serving y'all on the platter this beautiful fucking smile. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody can, but I will. Not it. They can't. But they, can. they don't understand. They don't understand. <laughs> I'm scared of all of it. 
Please. <laughs> all of it. Please. Yeah. Child and I do it in a heartbeat and wait on them to say something, bitch, because they straight and white fuck. You. I'm a skirt, honey. You skirt? I'm a skirt. Like I said, I mean, shit, we all honest hoes on here, you know? Like, no say, more alcohol for me. I don't even drink alcohol. <laughs> I haven't had a drink in so I haven't had a drink in as long as I ain't had a dick. I ain't had nothing. He said he's not afraid to talk to crazy people. Okay, well, come on then. Come talk to us then. Child, we've been, we been—we done let you in two or three times. You want to talk about me? Okay. I love these people. They so slow. Some of them, they so slow. But my people, they got good sense. Hey, y'all. Hey, baby. I ain't got time for the fuck shit. That boy's crazy. Yeah, I was drinking Kool-Aid. Straight up Kool-Aid. Water and sugar. And I and like I said, I'm just drinking, you know, crystal. Light. I need a refill though. I'm almost out. Yeah, no, that's the one that usually be tipping. And it ain't none of their damn business what I'm drinking. Just don't, <laughs> don't fuck with me, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't even get the lie together. She said that ain't none of your goddamn business what I'm drinking. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Let me in, you damn wild cat. Come on, Jesus. The, you the, like it. The scene is open. The scene is open. The scene is open. Let me go on and do like Wayne say. Let me pass me some water so I can go harder. Give me, give me a second. I need to Come on, baby. Come this on. Is, this is, this Broken is camera. What the fuck wrong with your camera? Is this that your name? I'm trying to tell you. This is my Saturday night. This is my Friday, Thursday, whatever night it is, God damn it. It's Thursday. Okay? I don't got I don't gotta take no crap from no crackheads from down south, okay? I come from up north. I'm not from down south, motherfucker. You, yeah, you are from down south. <laughs> I am not from down south, you dumb bastard. I'm from Pennsylvania. Where, where, where you from? Pennsylvania. Wait, no, you damn lie. You from down south. You from the Alabama or somewhere. But that southern accent you got, you, you I ain't never even been to Alabama, you dumbass. You, you, you don't talk like you from no damn Pennsylvania. You, you talk like and, you just. Wait, you talk like you just <clears throat> got off the boat, man. You just got off the boat, right? And and you're talking like you got fucking marbles and a dick in your mouth, but nobody judging like you. I just got off the boat. What boat would that be? The plantation boat, my friend. You know what I'm talking about? Plantation why? Because I'm dark. No, because your accent, <laughs> your southern accent. I'm talking. I'm trying to tell you. I about. have never even been to the south. You lie. I you promise lie. You, you, you. I am not from. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. No, you ain't for no damn Pittsburgh. Okay. I can tell that. Right I can tell that. Just just by the shirt you're wearing, I can tell. I can tell that, man. Ain't nobody. Really? Ain't, ain't nobody up here wearing no shirt like that. Okay, we wear polos and, and, and garanimals and that shit. We don't wear no shirt. Who the fuck that, wears garanimals? Garanimals? <laughs> <laughs> Garanimals? Oh. Fucking oh Ranimals. I ain't seen a Garanimal since the early fucking days. That looked like you 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 work in a hospital and you stole that shirt from, from the laundry room. That belonged to a doctor. No ma'am. What? No ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. Don't work in no hospital. She don't well, do you, that. So you're saying that you don't got a job? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely don't. No, I ain't got no job. I thought so. I thought. See, I know what I'm talking Why about. Why the fuck man. do I need a job? Do you see behind me? Do I look like I need a motherfucking job? I can see <laughs> the I am the job. I'm going to tell you. No, I'm going to tell you. You don't look like you need a job because I can see them stairs leading from the basement going up to your mama's apartment. I can see that. You live no, in the basement? ma'am. Google me, bitch. Google me. I am the job. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh, well, well, what are you trying to say, man? What are you trying to say? I already said it. Because <laughs> God knows if you're from Pennsylvania, I feel for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it happened to you. Look, you look, let me say, you are giving Will Smith a bad name, man. You're giving Will Smith a bad name. Why would I be giving Will Smith a bad name? Will Smith got money. He ain't got no job either. He is the job. Where you work? Where I work? Which McDonald's is you flipping burgers at, boo? Where I work? I, I work for the government. I work for the government, okay? Ooh, they always work for the government when they ain't got no damn job. I work for the post office. No, 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 look. Not, 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 look, I got a job, and I I even got your IP address, okay? I, 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 now, who the fuck's on country now? 
You work for the government. What do you work for? The post office? No, I get your IP address. That tells you something, right? That don't tell me. Okay, who's scared though? Man. If you if you have my IP address, you know that I ain't living in nobody's basement in the house with nobody with my mama and all that other shit. I, I dare you to yell. I dare you to yell. Mama, can I have a piece of that sandwich? I dare you to yell that right now. Why am I talking to somebody that ain't here? <laughs> That's just stupid. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we have to entertain the They do work for the government. You know, they be working for the damn post office. It's seasonal. That motherfucker will be jobless again in the middle of January. Look, 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 look. I don't I don't I don't work for no damn post office, man. First of all, I don't even know my damn zip code. Okay, I don't work for no damn post office. Don't work for nobody. Obviously, you don't know your <laughs> <laughs> they know your W two Hey, 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 no, no, I'm serious, man. I'm serious, man. Now, where do you get that shirt from? I mean, come on. It's a t-shirt. Where the no, fuck do not. you need to go to get it, a t-shirt? Look, I watched that show Orange, that prison show. It looks like one of them damn shirts. You got that, that, that from the Oh. Show? And you know those are all oh. prisoners, right? So what the fuck am I doing with one of them with the, one of the girls' shirts? Okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, why are you trying to make jokes? I'm trying to be serious, man. I'm trying to help you out, here, brother. You're not helping me, boo. There's nothing you can help me with. I already no, told no, you. No, to no, do no. Me. Don't call me boo. I'm not no damn female. I'm not no boo. I'm a damn. Oh, but you're boo then. You sound like one. Oh, you're boo though. You're, you're, I don't <laughs> no, know. Not, I don't I'm know what you're no, no, no. but you're boo, baby. No, no, lady, no, lady can call me a boo. But you you can't call me no. Lady ain't call... interested in your bullshit. Lady like men. Real men. Lady don't like no motherfucker sitting on no goddamn computer, fucking with nobody on no goddamn blab, claiming to work for the goddamn government. See, that's Lady it. Lady don't like... See, that's it. See, I know you're lying. You said sitting on a computer. Ain't nobody had no damn computer since the 90s. We all got <clears throat> iPads and all that shit. Nobody ain't got no damn computer. Where, where you been, fool? I pay. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong with you? Talk about a damn computer. Do you know what an iPad is? Drunk. Drunk. Well, you got that check today <laughs> in that damn account, didn't you? You getting full of that Ain't shit tonight. You don't know. You about 45 years old acting a damn fool. 45? You must be a you're damn uh, old. 45 years old. You must be a your damn old. You must be a your damn old. How old are you? I'm four. I'll be 44. How old are you? 1971. How old are you? I'll be 37 next month, fool. You crazy. Talk. 37. Well, see, you ain't even got no business even talking to me, little boy. Go sit <laughs> little down. Boy, little boy. Little motherfucking boy. Go sit down. Poor thing. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he <laughs> left again. Bye, bitch. <laughs> 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 